Hey everyone, we're going to graph two cycles of the cosine wave. This is part two uh, from the part one we did earlier. In this case, our period is going to be a little different than the um, the other one we did. The other one we did, the periods were all 2 pi. So let's fill out our little chart. So our new center line is y equals 2, y equals negative 3, y equals negative 1. Our amplitude is here. In this case, they're all 2. The phase shift is C over B. So again, whatever this is, take the opposite. So this is going to be, um, I'll do it up here, pi over 4 divided by 3. So that's going to be pi over 12. Opposite of that is positive, so it's going to be positive pi over 3. You're just taking this, divide it by. The way I see it is just um, you take the right, divide it by the left. <coughs> and this one's going to be negative pi over 6. Because pi over 2 divided by 3 equals pi over 6. But it's negative because this is positive. All right, and then the period is 2 pi over b. Here's our b. In this case, they're all 3. So that's going to be 2 pi over 3. That's 120 degrees. So wherever we start, for example, if we start at pi over 12, we're going to add 2 pi over 3. If we start at pi over 3, we're going to add 2 pi over 3. Negative pi over 6, we're going to add 2 pi over 3. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the first one is right here, and we're going to draw our new center line at y equals 2. So that's y equals 2. My amplitude is 2, so from here, I'm going to go up 2, which is going to be equal y, the line y equals 4 and down to, which is the line y equals zero. Now I have to, uh, my phase shift is pi over 12, so um, I'm gonna draw that. That's gonna be in green, because I'm just changing, translating the axis here. So I'm just gonna put pi over 12 right here, and write pi over 12. Now, my period is 2 pi over 3, so what I'm going to do is add pi over 12 plus 2 pi over 3. Now, in order to add these, I have to have the same denominator. So I'm going to change this and um, write pi over 12 plus something over 12. And again, you just say what number times 3 is 12? It's 4. 4 times 2 is 8, so that's going to be 8. 8 pi over 12. So we're going to end. When you add these up, you get 9 pi over 12. And yes, you can reduce 9 pi over 12, but I'm not going to because I'm going to have to do midpoints here, and it's a lot easier to see the pattern if you um, don't do that. So we're ending at um, 9 pi over 12. And the midpoint between 1 and 9, so that's 1 pi here, is 5 pi over 12. Midpoint here is 3 pi over 12. Again, you can reduce later. I'm not even going to bother. I like seeing the pattern more than having it reduced. And then you just draw your cosine wave, your characteristic wave. Again, it's that V shape, but then you just make it curvy. So we're starting here. And draw your five dots and make it curvy. Now to draw the other um, side, another cycle, I'm going to go to the left. So I'm really subtracting 8 pi over 12. And I get negative 7 pi over 12. So we're just moving this whole thing down. Why am I doing that? Okay, so we're just moving everything down. I'll move that down, um, by negative 7 pi over 12. This is 7 pi over 12. 
So I'm going to write pi over 12 here. Again, this is not actually drawn exactly to scale. So I'm just drawing these quickly. These are negatives. Negative 5 pi over 12. Negative 7 pi over 12. All right. Now we have our four extra points we need to finish the second cycle. So just go back down and make your little V shape. You have the five points, one, two, three, four, and back up to here is five. And just draw it. And there's your two cycles. All right. Next one we have is this one. Our new center line is at um, y equals negative three. And we're going to, uh, my amplitude is 2, so I'm going up 2. This is going to be at y equals negative 1. Go down 2, and we're going to be at y equals negative 5. That gives me my framework. My um, phase shift is pi over 3. So that's kind of our starting point. And pi over 3 recalls 60 degrees. So, kind of get that in mind. So, pi over 6 is here. Pi over 3, sorry. Our period was uh, 2 pi over 3. So, basically, I'm taking my starting point, which is pi over 3, and adding 2 pi over 3. That gives me 3 pi over 3, which is pi. But all I'm going to do is write... Um, Squeeze it in here. Just 3 pi over 3. Now halfway between that is 2 pi over 3. Halfway between 1 and 3 is 2. Um, I'm not sure about my midpoints here. So I'm going to do my midpoint formula and add pi over 3 plus 2 pi over 3. And I'm going to divide by 2. This gives me 3 pi over 3 divided by 2, which gives me 3 pi over 6. And we, of course we know that this is pi over 2 if you reduce. Now I'm going to um, add these two. So I'll do it over here. I'm going to add 2 pi over 3 plus 3 pi over 3 divided by 2. This is 5 pi over 3 divided by 2, which is 5 pi over 6. And the reason I want to keep it in the 6 is, so this is 5 pi over 6. All right. If I wanted to, I could, call, I could rewrite all of these to have 6s, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Now draw your cosine wave with your V shape but make it curvy, wavy. All right. And now I'm just going to have to subtract. So I'm going to go back to here. Instead of adding 2 pi, I'm going to subtract, and I'm going to end at um, pi over 3, so negative pi over 3. And as usual, I didn't distance this enough. So negative pi over 3, I'll put here. All right, halfway between is 0. Halfway between that is pi over 6 and negative pi over 6. All right, and then I just connect it. Uh, make my V from here and go backwards. And yes, I know this, this part here should be the same length as this part. I should have spread this out a little more. But I started too close in here. So next time when I would do this, I would um, spread it out more. I would get it uh, farther away from the origin. Okay, the last one we have is this one. Our new center line is at negative 1. Y equals negative 1. I'm adding 2. So I get Y equals 1. 
it's supposed to be in yellow. And I subtract 2, which is y equals negative 3. All right, my um, phase shift is negative pi over 6, which is actually 30 degrees. And I'm going to go ahead and spread it out. So I don't want to make the same mistake I did last time. So I'm going to um, just spread it out a little. So this will be pi over 6. Why did I make it crooked? Okay. So this is negative pi over 6. My period, as you recall, is 2 pi over b, which is 2 pi. So I'm going to um, let negative pi over 6 be my starting point and add 2 pi over 3. Since I don't have the same um, denominator, I'm going to let my denominator be 6. I'm going to say what number times 3 is 6? 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So when you add that, you're going to get um, 3 pi over 6. So um, this would be 0 and two, uh, 1 pi over 6. How far did I go? I went around 3. I'm trying to do this one a little better. All right, so I'm going to go down to pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, and 3 pi over 6. And that's where we're ending. I'm going to draw my cosine wave. Make it a V in my dots and make it curvy. Now I have to subtract. Um, I have to go on the other side. I'm going to subtract. And I'm going to end up at negative 5 pi over 6. So basically, I'm just going to go down um, and go opposite here. So this is negative 2 pi over 6, negative 3 pi over 6, negative 4 pi over 6, negative 5 pi over 6. Again, you can reduce this, but reduce some of these, like you could reduce all those, but I like to keep them all the same. I can see the pattern better that way. You can reduce later if you need to. And then you just make the curve here. And that's all. Um, have a nice day.